Hi, I'm Margie with Flow Motion Education, and in this video I'm going to be discussing the foot tripod. But before I dive into the foot-specific tripod, I'm just going to say a word about tripods in general. If you've ever been camping and tried to set up a table on uneven terrain, you'll know that it's almost impossible to get all four legs level, that a lot of work goes into leveling a table when people first set up their camps. However, if you've ever used a three-legged camping stool, you could be on very uneven terrain and it will just sit properly and level itself. So for you math geeks out there, I'm just going to um, remind you a little bit about geometry from probably high school. But uh, one point defines a point, two points define a, li a line. Don't worry about the geekiness, I'm, I'm going to be done in like two or three. I won't even go on for a minute. One point defines a point, two points define a line, and three points define a plane. So if you have a fourth point, it's trouble. Um, there's a reason uh, photographers don't put their expensive camera equipment on anything but a tripod. So now we're going to talk about the optimal tripod of your foot. So, and you've probably heard of it. It's, it's commonly referred to in yoga classes and different kinds of classes, but basically when you're weight bearing on your foot, you will be you will have three points of contact most of the time. There are definitely phases of gait where your heel lifts and you have two points of contact, but most of the time you will have, when you're just standing around, you will have three points of contact in each foot. And the ideal tripod is the center of the heel bone and the big toe ball, or sometimes called the toe knuckle, not the toe itself, so I'm not on the toe, I'm on this, this big ball on the first metatarsal or first long bone in your foot. So the toe, the first toe ball or first toe knuckle, technically known as the first metatarsal head, this is the metatarsal, and the fifth toe ball or toe knuckle or fifth metatarsal head. So again, heel, fifth metatarsal, fourth metatar uh, first metatarsal, and basically, uh, for stability, you kind of want the widest tripod you can create. So this triangle that I've just described would be the biggest. Um, now we're going to find, because we use, we reference the tripod in a lot of the exercises that I teach, we're going to find it on our feet. So I'm going to have you sit in a chair or whatever on the floor, whatever works for you, and you're actually going to grab, pinch the big toe ball. So you're super clear. Oh yeah, that's where it is. Tap on your heel or push on it. So oh yeah, that's where the heel is. And then grab the little toe ball, like really grab it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. That's where it is. And then we're going to experience it standing up, so you feel it weight-bearing. So what I'm going to have you do is, we're going to do one foot at a time if you want to hold on to a chair. In fact, I'll put a chair next to me. Uh, we want to take balance out of the picture for right now, so you don't get a white knuckle grip, you get a one finger touch on the back of a chair. Chair is optional, you don't have to use it, but I want you to lift the heel and then really, okay, I'm on the big toe ball. There it is, clear. Where's that little toe ball? It's an awkward position, but just for a minute, clear. Kind of roll around on it. Go back to the toe, big toe ball. I forgot to have you roll, find it, put weight on it, and then kind of roll like that's where it is. And then the heel, I want you to lift the forefoot and you can weight bear on different parts of your heel, and you're supposed to, but just kind of find that bone. Oh yeah, that's where the weight is. And then we're gonna roll from the heel along the outside of the foot to the fifth toe ball, to the first toe ball, and back to the heel. Really clear, don't rush this. Go the other way, heel, big toe ball, 
little toe ball. Just super clear, because we're gonna, I'm gonna want you to know where they are when you do your exercises. Just to be even, let's do the other side. So lift the heel, put all your weight in the big toe ball. Okay, there it is. Roll around on it. I'm on the big toe ball. Clear. Find the little toe ball. Clear. It's not so clear for me. Maybe it's clearer for you. Roll around on it. I'm making mental note. I can't find my fifth little toe ball on the left. Not at all clear. Okay. Heel. And roll around on the heel. Just sort of rock from side to side. And then we're going to do the foot. So from the heel up the outside of the foot to that little toe ball that I can't find. There it is. I found it. Big toe ball. Back to the heel. And we'll go once around the other way. Heel. Big toe ball. Little toe ball. There it is. Wow. And heel. I found my little toe ball on the left. 